boy's seven months admitted to hospital. Swallowed approximately 10 tranquilizers. Mother was having coffee with friend and didn't see child get into visitor's purse. Treatment, stomach pumped. Intervenous feeding started. Patient put in intensive care unit and placed on artificial kidney machine to remove poisons from blood and prevent possible damage to child's kidneys and brain. Two-year-old girl swallowed a liquid lye drain opener. Father said child got container from garbage and swallowed the remaining contents. Severe burns to lips, mouth, and esophagus resulted. Extensive surgical treatment was required over a period of two to three years. Artificial tube attached to stomach for feeding of liquid diet. Prognosis, child may never eat solid foods again. Boy, three years old, swallowed lamp oil found in plastic bottles stored in kitchen cupboard above sink. The lamp oil was red and had a peppermint odor. Mother said child probably thought it was soda pop. Diagnosis, the petroleum distillate entered the child's lungs. Chemical pneumonia developed. Patient failed to respond to treatment. Two days later, he died. Poison is at home wherever you live. It makes life more convenient, puts color on your walls, keeps your floors clean, clears up your headaches and makes you smell good. And it can turn a happy family scene into a very sad one. Every year, 500,000 children under the age of five swallow poisons while playing at home. 500 die as a result. If you don't think it can happen to a child you love, a son, daughter, sister, brother, or a friend's child, think twice. Think about the dozens of household cleaners and polishes you have around your home. The variety of medicines in your bathroom. The different cosmetics in your bedroom. The paints and pesticides in your basement or garage. Over 250,000 very common household products that can become deadly poisons in the hands of a child. Products you may not have considered dangerous. For example, perfume is mostly alcohol, and when swallowed, it may cause the blood sugar level to drop. If enough is ingested, the child will become unconscious. Brain and liver damage may develop. Some hair straighteners have lye in them. If an infant drinks a small quantity, severe burns to the mouth and esophagus result. Many furniture polishes are made from petroleum distillates and can cause chemical pneumonia. Children's vitamins with iron can be very dangerous because many of them look like candy or animal crackers. To little ones, they are. And if too many are eaten, iron poisoning develops, causing deep shock and internal bleeding. Salt and sugar are an example of two foods that look alike and are often confused. If salt is accidentally mixed in a baby's formula, it can dramatically disrupt the body chemistry. An infant will slip into convulsions and brain damage may result. From the moment a baby enters his home, his new world, he is placed in a potentially dangerous environment unless you continually take measures to prevent accidental poisoning. As the baby grows, these measures must change in order to keep up with his development and increasing mobility. For each stage of growth, from crawler to toddler to climber, brings its own special problems. The chances of poisoning begin from the first few moments of life, because a baby greets his new world through his mouth. Most of his needs and pleasures are satisfied orally. So everything the curious little adventurer sees and can reach will naturally go into his mouth. At first, his world is a small one. But as he grows, he becomes more mobile. At four months, the baby begins to grab for objects. A quick reach when you're not looking 
and the infant has his first taste of poison. To protect him, keep things out of his grasp. It's not long before a newborn begins to crawl. He leaves the small world of the crib behind to head out into the wide open spaces. The floor becomes his domain and everything on it his toys. And no matter what he finds, it will be played with and tasted because he's still using his mouth to understand what he sees. To discover the dangers, stop and view the world through his eyes. The colorful cans and boxes underneath the kitchen sink present a variety of new toys to be tasted. You know these products are poisonous, but he doesn't. Why not turn this area into a storage place for food and paper goods? In the bathroom, the waste paper basket holds an array of colorful shapes and sizes. Half-empty cologne bottles, deodorant cans, hair dyes, and medicine bottles attract his attention. Any amount left in these containers can cause... Poison control center, may I help you? Yes, my baby drank some mouthwash. How much was swallowed? It couldn't have been too much. It was in a half-empty bottle in the waste basket. So all containers, including old prescriptions, should be properly disposed of. Empty the remnants down a drain or flush them down a toilet. Then rinse thoroughly with water and throw the container away, preferably in a tight-lidded garbage can. A purse is a special delight for the crawler when it's on the floor with an easy reach, and it contains all kinds of interesting things to be investigated, like cosmetics, medications, and prescriptions. To prevent an accidental poisoning, simply keep purses and everything else that is potentially dangerous off the floor, out of the crawler's way. When the baby reaches the age of one year, he begins to walk. He becomes a toddler who is now able to reach new heights. So all those products and containers you removed from the floor are within the reach of little hands. Kitchen counters, tabletops, and nightstands become new horizons of discovery for the child between the ages of one and two. Poison Control Center, may I help you? My son drank some cold medicine. So once again, everything must be put out of reach, up high. Including the house plants people keep today. A common plant like the dumb cane or Diefenbachia can be extremely harmful if eaten. Simply biting any part of this plant can cause intense irritation of the mouth, tongue, and lips. With a toddler around, everyone should know what plans to watch for, indoors and out. Poison Control Center, may I help you? Yes, my little boy is 18 months old, and I was clean when I had some clocks, and then he's gotten a little bit. Keep an eye out for the dangers of accidental poisoning when you're doing housework. The toddler will reach for the cleaners and polishes when you're not looking. So, if you leave the room for a moment, take the baby or product with you. Poison Control Center, may I help you? My son just took some of my sleeping pills. What should I do? My granddaughter swallowed some aspirins. The best way to keep the toddler from getting into pills is to make sure the medications you buy are in child-resistant safety containers or packages, and that they're properly closed so our curious little friend can't get into them. Model, hobby, and chemistry sets can cause accidental poisoning. So older children should be careful not to leave their materials unguarded when younger brothers and sisters are around. By the time the baby reaches 15 months, he should be learning not to put everything in his mouth. Parents, older brothers and sisters can help by teaching him to use his sense of touch, hearing, and smell instead of just taste. The next stage of a child's development is one of the most dangerous. The baby now has the ability to climb. So all those high, safe places, unknown to the crawler and toddler, are accessible to the climber between the age of two and five. With the aid of a chair, laundry shelves, storage ledges, medicine cabinets, and kitchen cupboards are within easy reach. Adult medication is the most frequent cause of accidental poisoning for the climber. It is not difficult to understand why. 
Children frequently see pills, medicines, and adults together on television. They see the members of their family taking pills. And of course, children will imitate what they see. If you take pills, she will want some. Particularly if she has been told that medicine is candy. All these things contribute to the problem of children being poisoned by overdoses of medications. To help prevent this, never tell children medicine is candy. Take pills in private, out of the sight of small children. Always keep pills out of reach and properly dispose of all medications when you're through with them. Accidental poisoning can happen in any family, at any time. Children grow so quickly that we're often surprised by what they can get into. Being aware of the development of a baby can help family members to be alert to possible dangers. For the crawler, it's anything on the floor. The toddler goes for objects on tables and countertops. And nothing is completely safe from the hands of the climber, unless it's under lock and key, which is one of the easiest ways to prevent an accident right from the start. Set aside a lockable cupboard or closet for the storage of cleaning products, paints, and pesticides, and a separate area for drugs and pills. If lockable storage space isn't available, an old small suitcase or tackle box that can be secured with a combination lock can be used to store potential poisons. Certainly, it may be a little more inconvenient, but surely a child's life is worth it. Don't take any chances. Be especially watchful during times when the household routine is disturbed. Children usually get into things when there is an illness in the family. Just before meals, when mom is busy preparing food. When there is tension between parents when you're visiting friends or moving into a new house. During these times, attention is diverted. And when you're not looking, you can bet you'll be into something. And more often than not, it'll be poisonous. Accidental poisoning in childhood occurs all the time. At this center alone, we receive 20,000 calls a year calls from different people in different places. But the story is always the same. Somehow, the children get into something. By being aware of the danger, you may keep it from happening to someone that you love. Look around your home and consider all the things a child can get into. These things should be kept out of sight and out of reach. Or better yet, put them under lock and key. Remember, as children grow older, they get into more and more dangerous situations. Don't let them surprise you. Know what they can do. I recommend that parents keep syrup of Ipecac in their homes. One ounce may be purchased from your pharmacist without a prescription. It should be used only if your physician or the Poison Control Center advises you to do so. In some cases, it could prevent an accidental ingestion from becoming a poisoning. And keep the phone number of your doctor and the local Poison Control Center handy at all times, especially for a babysitter. Poison prevention takes practice. It may cause inconvenience, but isn't a child's future worth it? Everyone should get into prevention. Believe me, prevention is the best antidote for accidental poisonings in children. Remember, there are 250,000 ways to destroy a child's life without leaving home. The chances of a tragedy happening are too high to ignore. Take the time to save a child the pain of a poisoning. Take the time to save yourself the sorrow of your life. <laughs>